Hi and welcome to Let's Get Real About Makeup with me, Julie Lewis, and it's where I do makeup reviews for the over 60s. The foundation that um, I'm going to be trying today is Estee Lauder Double Wear Maxim Cover Foundation, and this is um, it's a camouflage makeup, and um, it can be used for um, camouflaging sort of uh, you know sort of tattoos, birthmarks, acne scarring. Um, yeah, so I, I thought I would give this a try because I'm always saying about my my pesky chin. On the Estee Lauder website, there's not a great deal of information about this foundation. Usually with Estee Lauder, for their foundations, you have, you know, when you've got like on the how to use, and there's normally like a little video on it showing people applying it. But with this, there isn't, there's nothing on the how to use. So normally, you know, you'll, you know, you'll be advised to use a brush or uh, a beauty blender um, or, you know, to use your fingers to blend it out, but there's absolutely nothing. Um, I'll read you um, a little bit, well, all of it. So it says it's a 12 hour wear, natural looking, long wearing and non-transferable. Um, soothing liquid cream and makeup conceals all skin imperfections, including their surgical and acne scars birthmarks and sunspots and varicose veins. Helps protect with SP15, suitable for post-surgery use. And it says it's um, it's actually developed in collaboration with dermatologists and surgeons. So um, on the box, however, um, it says it's a 24 hour stay in power. So, they must have uh, improved the formula. It also says that it's waterproof and that it's non-acnogenic, so it's not going to um, it's not going to like um, affect your skin. You know, like it's not like if you've got problems with acne, it's not going to make it flare up or anything like that. Um, and the shade I'm using is one N three, which is um, it's for light. It's for light skin with neutral undertones. So I'm going to um, apply this with a brush and I'm going to use my Samira foundation brush, which is marvellous for marvellous. Never use that word marvellous. It's marvellous, darling. Um, it's really great. This is designed for people with acne, uh, you know, sort of texturised our skin, which I've got imperfection. So I'm going to use this on a brush. Right, so I just had a bit of a, of a disaster and I just had to take all my makeup off because I've put on far, far too much. So I'm going to start again. Okay, so I'm going to put a little bit on my hand and you only need a small amount. That's probably too much. And what I'm going to do with this foundation, I'm going to start off with just a little bit. Um, the brush I'm going to use, it's a... It's a Il Maquillage uh, Foundation Brush. Um, I've used this foundation with my fingers, with a sponge, with a brush. I can't remember what the brush applies like, so let's have a look. So I've just got a little bit there and I'm just going to start here. Now you can see I'm not putting, I'm not putting much on. So, and I'm just going to dab that in. And I think with this, I think you've got to work fairly quickly. Oh. And if I need more, I'd rather go in and add a little bit more rather than put everything, put it all straight on. And because if you've got to too much on, there's no going back apart from, you know, taking it all off. So just a little bit on there. I'll do a, you can see, you can see the coverage. So I'm just going really, really light-handed. That's my dog barking, Oscar. He normally makes an appearance in the videos. So I think that looks good. Yeah, that's nice. So that's covered. No, this is just very light. Look, I've still got all that. Now, for me, I don't, you know, I'm... I'm not that bothered about having every single part of my imperfections covered up. I'm used to this face. Uh, 
it like it doesn't really bother me but this is classed as a camouflage makeup so that's what we're sort of testing it on so i'm gonna do stick that behind my ears i just want to show you my nails these are beautiful i've just had my nails done just a couple of days ago thank you Gemma at uh, uh pure hair and beauty mask lane in stockton on tees if you live in this area go there ask Gemma to do your nails this is all a uh, nail art you know she's like sort of painted these lovely lovely summer flowers on i absolutely love them she's a very talented girl i love them so you can see the coverage you know that's just by sort of dabbing the coverage is amazing and it, it's not drying um it's lightweight actually that is very very good coverage yeah i think probably the brush is probably the best um, so on my skin i've prepped it in my normal way uh so cleanser i use i use um i'm using beauty pie products at the moment i've been using them for about oh probably probably coming up for a year i think and they're brilliant the prices are incredible i used to always use um charlotte tilbury skincare which is amazing and is wonderful on the skin um but uh very very expensive but with beauty pie the prices are astounding so i see how this is covering this is really 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 nice yeah there's oscar again i think he thinks he's on royalties if he appears in my videos you know that you'll get extra treats or something so that was really straightforward wasn't it now obviously i'm not a makeup artist it's just me putting on makeup and it's just me um looking for foundations that are going to be suitable for my mature skin uh, with my imperfections and uh, I only ever ever used to use Estee Lauder double wear that's all I ever used to use and I've got to say that is still probably my favorite I must do a review on that um, and I've found lots and lots of different foundations now that work really well for me this is really good And so, I think that's going to be about it. Let me see what it's like on my paws. Yeah, I think that's, I think it's good. I mean, I'll do a little bit more on my chin. Um, just because of the, or it's supposed to cover. Because it does particularly say like spider veins and broken veins and things like that and then I'm going to leave that dry off for a couple of minutes and then I'm going to put the rest of my makeup on and then you can have a look and see what you think well I think that's okay still only thing is which I am going to put a little bit more on. And the danger is when you put more on is if it's going to draw more attention to your imperfections, if it doesn't blend well. So I've got a little little concealer brush here. I'll use that one, yeah, I think I will. It's an Oscar Charms one. And do you see if I can get in there, in my nose? I called it the corner of my nose earlier on and your noses don't have corners it'd be really weird if we had corners on our nose so just put a 
a little bit on that. Just need to check in my magnifying mirror. What I'm doing, I'm just putting, I'm just putting a little bit on my cheeks because it is the camouflage makeup, just to get the cheeks covered. As I say, also the foundations, that wouldn't bother me, but this is advertised as camouflage and for hiding scars and um, imperfections. So that's what we're going to test it on. So I'm just dabbing that directly. And I've put far, far too much on. Let me just work that in, see if I can get rid of that. But the cover is good there for uh, covering the veins. You can see there, you can't you can't see the veins through. So I'm going to leave it there and then I'm going to put the rest of my makeup on and I will catch up with you in a jiff. So that's me with the rest of my makeup on. Um, I think it looks really nice. I've tried to keep the look as natural as possible, purely because with the foundation being a little bit heavier, uh, I didn't want to over overwhelm my face with too much makeup. Uh, but yeah, I think it looks really nice. It's got a 24 hour wear claim on the box, although on the website it only says 12 hours. But we'll, so like I'll check back in a few hours and we'll see how it's, you know, holding up and how the rest of my makeup uh, actually lasts on the foundation. So in the mirror, my normal mirror looks nice. Um, I feel from the distance how it's got good cover um you know yeah it looks nice uh on the magnifying mirror however um it looks a bit scaly so that is probably my skin and not the foundation um so i think i might need to exfoliate my skin i think probably uh but anyway that's how it is it's let's get real about makeup it's every day you know, like how we wear the makeup every day, isn't it? So uh, I'll check back with you in a while. Well, this is uh, my first star check back uh, of the foundation. And uh, unfortunately, it's going to be my last one. I've just realised, actually, actually, that I've been calling this a double wear maxim. <laughs> and it's not, it's double wear maximum coverage foundation. So sorry about that. I got the name wrong right at the start. Um, but yeah, this hasn't lasted well. I've had the makeup on about five and a half hours. All the foundation is like sort of separated on my skin. It's gone into pores. Uh, on the screen, it looks okay. But when I do the editing, I'll do like a close up and you'll be able to see what I mean. So yeah, for me, this it's not it's not worth it's not worth the thirty seven pound fifty. Um, I've only got you know sort of broken capillaries and things. I I just don't know how that if you had birthmarks um, or needed to cover up you know a tattoo or whatever, I can't see how that would work. It might do it initially, but I can't see how it would um, keep the cover on all day and still look all right, you know, because certainly for me today, it's just separated. And I think it would just may end up making your skin worse. You know, that's just my opinion. That's just from my experience, you know, today. So um, unfortunately for the double wear maximum cover foundation, it's not one I will be repurchasing i mean i've used you know you've heard me say that estee lauder double wear the stay in place foundation i've used that for years and that does stay in place but this one it doesn't um so sorry about that estee lauder um i just wanted to say actually it's been ages since i've actually uploaded any videos and it's because i've been if you um have watched my other videos uh, you know, I've had some issues with like sort of vertigo and um, it's happened again. And I had I had like another bout of vertigo, which lasted a couple of months. So it's just awful because it just like um, it makes your head, you know, sort of spin. Your eyes and your brain are not are not actually um, sort of, uh, you know, communicating with each other. Um, 
so yeah that hasn't been very good and then i've had i've had about three holidays lucky me so that was been really nice um but yeah so um if you've it's only been a short video today uh and it's ended up on a bit of a negative on the review of the foundations i wish all the foundations i reviewed i could say yeah they're great but that's the whole point isn't it of doing the channel it's actually reviewing it you know reviewing and actually seeing what the the what the reality is of foundations on normal skin on imperfect skin if you've liked this video please give me a thumbs up and if you would like to subscribe that would be amazing uh currently i'm on sort of 209 subscribers it's it's going up all the time so next target is going to be 250 and then maybe eventually reach my thousand who knows so anyway whatever you're doing wherever you are whatever the time of day it is uh, have a great rest of the day evening and um, i'll catch up with you in my next video bye